Hey there, everyone. As we're finishing up chapter 27 in the book of Acts today, uh, there's a couple things that jump out to me, and I know the heading on mine just simply says the shipwreck. And as I read this, I was reminded that God is simply with us uh, in real life circumstances. Sometimes we can read scripture and go, yeah, that doesn't really tie into me, or I have no idea what that would have been like. But you just see these moments that are definitely not highlights, um, and there's some pretty diff big difficulties in their life, and yet God continues to be with Paul and the rest of them on the ship. And just like Shonda said yesterday, you know, God was going to protect them. Even though the ship wouldn't be there, God would be there. And so I'm reminded that, kind of like us today, God is with us in everyday, real-life situations. The second thing that kind of jumps out to me is that, you know, all of the, the soldiers and the prisoners, everyone ate food and had plenty, and God continues to provide for our needs. And sometimes it's not where we see um, as far as what we think is going to happen, but God does meet our needs. And so I'm reminded of that here. And they even have plenty left over. And there are so many times that God gives us in huge abundances that so often we take for granted. And so look around at the ways that God's provided for you today and give him some thanks for that. The last thing that kind of jumps out to me is that here's the centurion one more time wanting to rescue Paul. Like all the prisoners are about to die. The, the text actually kind of infers that um, the soldiers are ready to kill all of the prisoners. Um, but the centurion, one, cares for Paul and I think really does want to get him safely to Rome. Um, but maybe was even encouraged by Paul's encouragement of, hey, we're going to all make it safely. And there's just different moments throughout this journey that I'm sure Paul has given him some encouragement and that we're not all trying to swim away and such like that. And so that makes a difference in the centurion's life. And you know what? The little things that you and I do every single day really can make a difference in other people's lives. And sometimes we see it and sometimes we don't. And someday I think it'll be cool being in heaven and maybe seeing the people that we were able to uh, interact with and impact in a cool way that we never realized we were able to uh, hear on on the earth. And so today, uh, realize that God is with you uh, in real life circumstances and uh, know that the things you do really can impact other people and God's going to meet your needs. So go to him first and see how he provides. Have a great day.